Between the motor at one end of the pneumatic drill and the chisel at the other end lies the heart of the drill. The part where the chisel locks in. This is where the pneumatic drill generates the earthquakes, or steel quakes, that race through the chisel. But to find out how, we'll have to take it apart. Inside this key part, there's a piston, a ram, and a striker. The power from the electric motor carries over to a connecting rod, which hooks up to the piston. It makes the piston go back and forth in the cylinder 33 times a second. When the piston moves, it sets the ram in motion. The ram then hits the striker, again 33 times per second. The shock waves from each impact then travel from the striker through to the tip of the chisel. But why doesn't the piston hit the chisel straight on? Because the force of each impact would be transmitted to the motor, causing serious damage. Now the piston can make the ram move back and forth without ever touching it. Because between the piston and the ram, there's only air. When the piston moves forward in the cylinder, it compresses the air. This increases the air pressure, which ends up pushing the ram forward, slamming it into the striker. When the piston withdraws, suction draws the ram backwards towards the piston. There's always air between the two parts, air that transmits the piston's movements to the ram. Each time the ram hits the striker, it hits with the force of its weight moving at the speed of 10 meters per second. Yet the striker doesn't budge. It does not hit the chisel, because it's already touching it. Instead, the shock of each and every impact on the striker creates a wave, a shock wave, that travels right through it. The chisel is made up of steel, and that's a good thing. Steel is a very solid material, made up of molecules packed very closely together. Those shock waves travel through the steel from molecule to molecule at an amazing 18,000 kilometers an hour. When they get to the tip, that's in contact with the concrete, the shock waves shatter the concrete and not the steel. That's because concrete is not as dense as steel. It has weak spots that make it fragile. The shock waves just blast the concrete apart. The chisel never moves to actually hit anything. It's the shock waves traveling through it that do all the damage, just like an earthquake. The pneumatic drill, a machine that creates dozens of earthquakes or steel quakes in a single second.